Hi, my name is Steve Gaytai. I'm a personal trainer, Ironman triathlete, and overall fitness enthusiast. My philosophy on fitness to make, is to make it fun, functional, and consistent. And with the TRX suspension trainer, I feel it delivers on all three. I enjoy my workouts with the TRX. It's very functional. It actually helps train the body for everyday life situations. And it, those two really lead toward it being a consistent workout that's portable that you can take anywhere. So I've come up with a workout I wanted to share with you. I call it the TRX Challenge Outside the Box. And it's outside the box for a couple reasons. One, it's literally outside the traditional fitness center walls. We're outside in a beautiful park here in San Diego. And two, it's actually exercises that I sort of created. Um, some of them are 100% novel and unique, while others might just be variations or modifications on existing exercises. So let's get started. The first one I call the TRX Full Moon. Essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna plank out here, arms overhead, and hold this plank Stabilize through the spine, maintaining good posture, and we're going to just do a few slow controlled reps into this full moon arc movement, all the while maintaining that posture. Nice and slow, it's almost an isometric type movement, and if you can, just keep go either full range of motion as long as you maintain control. That's good. Let's do three of those. And just find an angle that works best for you. This workout will take approximately 30 to 35 minutes. There's 14 exercises if you just do one set. It's nice and slow. Works a lot of different muscles as you'll as you'll see. Keep breathing. Let's do one more. TRX full moon. It's a great exercise. You'll notice your body will move slightly throughout the, the movement, but for the most part, we maintain the same plank position. Excellent. All right, for the next exercise, we're actually gonna to get to the ground, and I call it the TRX Wrestler's Bridge. There's different variations. I'm just gonna actually work on rolling up, doing reps and rolling up to the neck. You can also, if you're strong enough, it's very advanced, but you can actually press up into a bridge and if you can, do reps from that position. So, we're gonna drop our ankles, or heels in. Book cradles. We're gonna maintain a bend in the knees. And we're just gonna roll up onto the neck. Six, seven, eight, let's do 
do one more. Ten. And hold that. And from this position, like I was saying, you can actually press up and do reps. That exercise is great. Anything you do in life and in sport, you want to have a nice strong neck. Uh, back in high school, we used to do those where we'd roll around on our neck to build the strength there. But also, it's a full body exercise on the TRX because you have to hold that position stabilized. So it really fires those glutes and hamstrings. Okay, the next one we're going to do is called TRX single handle pull up. So we're just going to take one of the handles and we're going to drop it in the carabiner. You'll notice that I configured the TRX, I've anchored it such the carabiner is through one of the intermediate loops. As long as you do it that way, you can just drop the foot cradle inside. Like so. Give it a, give it a pull, make sure you're secure. And from here, bend your knees, start doing some pull-ups. So what's nice about that is you can actually drop your feet down to the ground, lighten the load a little bit. Um, you'll notice you might twist a little bit, but it's still a great exercise. Full body weight, just putting it in single handed mode there. Excellent. All right, this next one is really an existing exercise that I'm just going to add a body saw, a slight body saw to, so it's a suspended side plank. But we're gonna actually just add that little bit of a saw, and then I'm also gonna stack my forearms. I find that when I come around and I stack those, it really gives me good rotation. It gives me a target. So. Back to the ground. So from an elbow, we're gonna add the saw, come up, stack. That's one, saw. Pike and stack. Good. Keep breathing. That's three. Saw. One more on this side. Stack. That's great. You'll find that that little body saw, even if it's an inch or two, makes a big difference. Opens up everything, intensifies the exercise. Saw. Good. The other thing you'll notice is I like to have the TRX basically about 10 to 12 inches off the ground and I leave it there for most every exercise. So the only thing I'll be doing is configuring it from double handle mode to single handle mode. Alright, the next exercise kind of works some similar muscles. We're actually going to do 
TRX suspended push-up with rotation. So it looks like this. Let's do 10 total or five per side. Ready? Drive up, rotate. Two, three. It's a great exercise. Use a little bit of power, a little bit of explosion to push yourself up. It's really difficult to try to keep those feet from swaying. There's a lot of control, a lot of stabilization going on there. Whew. Awesome. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna take a little breather. Next one we're gonna do, we're gonna stand up. I'm gonna configure it into single handle mode. We're gonna do a single leg squat with a side kick. So, what we're gonna do is drop our toe in, foot cradle. So, planted foot is basically gonna be under our anchor point. This is going to be my end range here. What I do is come down, squat, kick, stretch. Stretch here, hold it. Call that the also call that the Bruce Lee. But it's a great exercise, tremendous control and balance involved with this movement. Switch sides, find your starting position or your ending position. So, here feels good. Notice when I squat, try to keep my my bucket back, keep my weight over that plated leg. Two more. Come on, hang in there. Last one. Nice squat. Kick. Stretch. It's good. A lot of balance involved with that one. Okay, the next one we're actually going to do is really a variation on the high rotation, which is one of my favorite TRX exercises. But we're just going to tweak it a little bit. It's going to come back over the head more. So we're going to fire up our anterior delts. Looks like this. So we'll keep it single-handed mode. Kind of one hand cupped over the other. Nice wide base. Then just rotate your hand. Bueno. Bueno. Eight. Keep breathing. Nine. 
Okay, now we're going to add a rotation. So the thing, thing, same thing, but then open up and twist. Like that. Three. Four. Last one. I call that the TRX overhead rotation. Um, basically, we did 10 straight on, and then we opened it up and did 10 more. All right, next we're going to do the uh, single leg loop raise. Suspended single leg glute raise. For this, we're going to keep it single handed mode. Get down on the ground, drop the, the lower leg into the foot cradle. Come up to our elbows, and this floating leg is essentially just going to raise maybe 6 to 12 inches and squeeze. Ten. Hold it. Good. Other side. Amazing thing about this exercise is it does isolate the glute. It's like TRX is great because it's integrated exercises and muscles and everything is working together in concert. Same thing here, but definitely feel an isolation targeting the glute. So again, down leg goes in, up on our elbow, and just lift. Ten, hold it. Good. Nice. Now keep this other hand here for support. It's also working the QL underneath. There's some other things going on, but definitely warms up your glutes. All right. Let's see. So our next exercise, keep it single-handed mode. We're going to do a bicep curl, but I'm going to add a press to it. So we're like a military press. So inside leg forward, find your angle, perform the bicep curl, and then from here, we're going to extend and drive up and squeeze. Back down. Press. Good. Bicep. Number three. Good. Squeeze it. Keep breathing. Four. Press. Five. Good, two more. Last one. And. What you find with this, it's very intense. And your body might not move a whole lot from the bicep curl end position to the press but those small degrees of movement, you'll feel it. Trust me. Switch sides, inside leg forward, 
Find your angle, curl, and press. Good. Curl, and press. Good. Halfway there. Squeeze it. Last one. It's burning. I'm sweating. Excellent. Oh, it's amazing. You don't need any weight. It's just physics. Gravity, your body weight, and the TRX. Okay. Let's see, where are we at? We got, I think that was nine. We got, we're on number 10. We're gonna do a suspended incline press with mountain climbers. So, we're gonna get back in a double handle mode. Okay. Let's find our push up position. However you want to get there. Some people just will drop their toes through the foot cradles from a knee and others will get in like I did where you cross over and then flip. Okay, once we get here, we are going to turn and do a 180 degree turn and then we're going to walk ourselves out. Okay, here we go. Walk yourself out to a nice angle and hold. And then we're actually gonna do our mountain climbers from this position here. And we're gonna do this for 20 seconds or so. Maybe add a couple presses in. Nice. Nice work. Save a little juice because you got to walk back down. Just take your time. There you have it. TRX and climb press with mountain climbers. It's a killer workout. I would say this is intermediate to advanced depending on your angles, how many reps you do, how much rest you take. But given the fact that a lot of the exercises are suspended, definitely makes for a challenging workout. All right, the next one, I actually just I call it the k tie combo. They're existing exercises, but I put them together so it's almost like a five move exercise. And it looks like this. Hands are about shoulder width apart. Push up position, down, roll back to the elbow. Body saw, back to the hand, and crunch. Three. Four. One more. Come on, guys. Let's do it. Press. Very nice. That's a killer combination. So, it's a push up. You roll back on your forearm to your elbows. Body saw back. Roll back onto your hands. Finish it with a crunch. Doing five of those, it's almost like doing 25 reps straight. Okay, feeling great. Let's do two more exercises. 
This next one's called the TRX Crab Walk. So we're actually gonna flip over, drop our heels into the cradles. Dip here. Back to the middle. So for that one, usually I'll just kind of walk around. I'll throw in a few dips and to see how much juice I have left. But back when I was a kid, we used to do the, we did it on the scooters back in PE class and you used to scoot around on those. Kind of similar, it really, really fires up your triceps, your shoulders, even your legs get some work on that. Last exercise, I know you got some left, TRX suspended hand walk. Same sort of concept, but on our stomachs this time, walk out as far as you can I'm just holding this position there's a lot going on maintaining this my core is working really feel it in my abs shoulders arms just walk around do a little arch back to center That's what I call the TRX challenge outside the box workout. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, be strong, be present, be playful, and always, always challenge yourself. Nice work.